Who am I training with right now? Corey. Corey. Tell me something, buddy. We're gonna be real with the group right now, okay? Okay. I walked in here and said, let's train chest. What are the weights you're used to bench pressing right now as we were getting our joints ready? Pretty much I was grabbing 20 to 25 pounds. Okay. And um, today, what weight have we, have, we, have we jumped up to? I jumped up to 65 pounds. How many times you bench it? 10. Okay. What'd you do before that? I did 20 with uh, 45s. Okay, so if I hadn't had you do 20 with 45s, your set of 10 would have been a set of 15. And your next set, what, what did you just do of 65s? I did 10, 10 with those, and I'm planning to go up to 70s. Okay, guys, this is the reason why we strip set. You start off with a weight you don't know you can do. We push ourselves. You don't know that you can do it. And then you have the weight that is less than that you know you can do sitting there right waiting for you. See, right at your feet. So, right now we're about to grab 70s. This is now, uh, what is it, 45 pounds more than you're used to doing in each arm. Okay? This yes. is how we get a chest. Yes, it is. Accountability also comes with weight. Where strength this size follows is usually the case. And we came in today and I've been looking at uh, Corey's numbers online and he sends me numbers and all I can do is try to dissect them because I don't like you guys doing a lot of homework. It's annoying to me. You have to tell me what your weights are. I look at your heart rate and I know you tried. Every once in a while, if we're not raising our weight, you can confuse the trainer. Whereas in I see numbers that look like we're pressing a certain weight and we're not. So I came in today and Corey was uh, bench pressing about 40 pounds less than what I had him end on. He had never touched 70 pound dumbbells, ever. He ripped them out five or six times by himself. Okay, 45s, I said, okay, we're used to 25s, let's go to 45s. He said, all right, I don't know, I haven't done that in a year or so. Okay, we benched him 20 times. So please, please, please understand that like rule number five, top five is strip setting. Okay, that means we start with a weight we cannot finish or we're not sure if we can do. And then we drop it and immediately grab another weight to finish the amount of reps in that set. If he were grabbing 50 pounds, he would have known he could have done 50 pounds, but he never grabbed them. He kept repping out the 25s. His joints are strong. It's good for him. We want that, but we're not building the muscle we can. We're not ripping apart muscle tissue. It's not going to scar over unless we get a deeper muscle tissue tear coming from the heavier weights and resistance training.